Welcome back to David's Tutorials video series on understanding tabs in Microsoft Word. In previous videos, we covered pretty much everything you need to know about tabs and tab stops. If you'd like to catch up on earlier videos, please click here now. In this video, we conclude this Understanding Tabs series with what you need to know to work with tabs in Tables. Tables in Microsoft Word are a wonderful way to lay out your content in a grid. The rows and columns of a table make it very easy to keep related information together. When you have your cursor inside a table, pressing the tab key on your keyboard causes the cursor to move to the next cell in the table. Or, if you are in the last cell in a table, pressing the tab key will create a new row in that table. But what if you want to insert a tab character inside a table cell? Pressing the tab key won't work. It just takes you to the next cell. To insert a tab character inside a cell in a table, press Control Tab. This will give you the tab character you're looking for. Standard default half-inch tab stops are also present inside tables. You can insert your own tab stops using any of the methods outlined in Chapter 2 of this series. Let's say in this table cell we want to put two tab-aligned columns of information. We start with these three lines of information. The first two lines already contain tab characters. I'm going to insert two tabs in the last line by pressing Control tab here and here. To insert the tab stops, we begin by drag selecting all three lines. Since tab stops are paragraph oriented, we don't have to select all the text in the paragraph, but just some of it. We then check the tab type selector box to select center tab. Then click on the bottom margin of the ruler bar to add a tab stop here. Next, click the tab type selector once more to select right tab and place that stop here. We now have the desired tabs and tab stops inside a table cell. This concludes our video series on all about tab stops in Microsoft Word. We hope you have enjoyed it and have learned something to help you in the future. If you like this series, please give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to be notified when we post more great content from David's Tutorials.